We've got Neil Gibson here from T-Pub, and one of their best-selling comics is actually Twisted Dark. How are you doing today? Good, I like that you said that. Twisted Dark, that's, that's good. You should I like it too. How did you come up with the premise for the story in the first place? Uh, honestly, it was fear. Um, I was uh, a new, new to comic book writing, and I didn't want to be boring, so I was new to writing in general, so I thought if I wrote something that was quite compelling and, and dark, it'd be less likely to be boring, so that's, what, that's how I came up with it. I like that idea, actually, because it brings a little more of your emotions into the story rather than just a normal story, right? That you came down from the UK and you're trying to bring everything out here, right? Yes, yeah, so we're quite well known in the UK. We're actually a Kindle number one bestseller. Uh, but in Canada, no one knows us yet, um, so we're just trying to break into the industry here. Well, we're here to change that. We want people to know all about your comic, and I mean, I might actually have to buy this. It sounds amazing, so we have to do that. Smart man. Very smart. <laughs> Um, but other than that, do you, are you going to do any other shows around here, or is this like your first show here? Uh, no, we've been doing this, this uh, I think, our third year, but uh, our, t our team, our, our volunteers, so they go around to Ottawa, they go to other conventions around Canada. But I can't keep flying out for it, because I go to 26 conventions a year, so I, I have to go to different countries in Europe and uh, USA and stuff, so I can't always come back to Canada, much as I love the place. I completely understand that. I mean, you got to do what you got to do as well. Uh, so it was awesome to interview here. here. Uh, thank you very much. We'll put all uh, the links in the bottom here, so if you want to check them out, um, do you have a main website or...? Uh... Yeah, it's uh, tpub.co.uk and uh, we'll also give you guys a free um, link so you got your readers, your viewers can get the comic for free. Alright, awesome, that sounds great. So, there you heard it, you can actually get the comic for free and check it out. So you better do that. Richard Zajic here. He's actually one of the artists who is in Artist Alley, and Go Figure actually is one of our uh, our local uh, from one of our local haunts and looking for heroes. What's going on, Richard? Not too much. Uh, could you give us a, a quick rundown on some of the titles that you mainly work on? I've worked on Huntress, Batwing. I was uncredited on Flash. Uh, I worked on Soulfire, GI Joe, a few others, but those are big ones. So kind of all over the map, right? Yeah, I'm a fill-in guy. Fair enough. Well, I mean, we were looking through some of your work earlier today, and it was, it's absolutely stunning. Like, I, like myself as an artist, looking at how crisp your lines are and how beautiful everything looks, like, it's just, it's completely insane. Would you have any tips to someone who's trying to get into your craft as well, or? Just keep practicing, practicing, and practicing, and try to hit conventions and meet people. He's got some beautiful work, and uh, some uh, some really nice ink, uh, custom, custom prints, yeah, you know, prints and things to buy. Yeah, stuff, save me. I just fumbled all over my stuff because I just looked down at the Huntress again and it's gone. <laughs> okay. Again, like I, I was talking to you a little earlier, these prints are absolutely insane. I love the detail and everything, um, but I know that you have you don't just work in uh, prints and everything like that. You won't, you do your own book as well. Can you talk a little bit about that? Uh, it's um, kind of like a fictitious autobiography, and uh, it's about a guy who accidentally relives Buddha's life. It kind of takes him on a wild adventure after that, but uh, that's about all I want to say about it. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. You got to leave some mystery to it, right? And I know that uh, we were talking again, there's the first two volumes out and then there's the third and supposed final coming out soon, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm working on it right now and uh, around this time next year it should be ready to go. Awesome, and that's uh, the, the series is called Two Mistakes Too Many, right? If you guys are interested in Nas's work, like it, again, amazing stuff and I've taken a look through the books, they look stunning. All the, the, the work that he does in his book, all you said it was all pencil, ink and everything like that, it's all like traditional style, no Photoshop, no nothing, right? Um, we take Photoshop to finish it off because it's got to be digital at one point to be printed, but it's all hand done. Yeah, add your text and whatever else, but like all the like the raw drawing and everything is just straight you. All of it. <laughs> That's amazing. Min Martin here. He's, uh, he's a professional illustrator who's been working in the industry for how long have you been working in the industry now, actually? Uh, maybe about five, six years. Five, six years, and you've been working. I know you've done concept art for a bunch of studios. You've done your own, um, you know, art books and gallery openings, and like kind of run the gamut. I mean, um, in terms of everything, kind of that you've you've hit so far. What would you say is like your your main haunt, really? Well, I do concept design mostly. So, and that's for movies and television. 
and uh, so the recent thing that I did was working on Pixels, the Pixels movie that came out, and then what's upcoming is I did design work for Heroes Reborn. Oh wow, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah, so you'll see some of the character designs that I did for that show. So we were talking a little bit earlier and you were saying you have a new project on the, on the horizon there. Could you tell us a little more about that? Yeah, it's called Leather Wings and it's a concept design project that showcases the development of a concept pro uh, package from beginning to end. So that'll include thumbnails to sketches to uh, uh, flat colors to a fully rendered character design. And, um, and then after that, there's going to be workshops and um, there's also going to be uh, development diaries that documents each aspect of the production line. And uh, from that point, I'm going to have a book. There's going to be about 12 development diary videos that I have planned out, and I'll update them as I go along. Perfect. So if you guys want to check it out, we'll definitely have the links up in the description for Lemin's channel if you want to see the, uh, the workshops and the video diaries and everything like that. Um, otherwise, you, uh, you also have a main website that people can go to if they want to check out more of your stuff, right? Yep, absolutely. It's leminmartin.com. Perfect. And, uh, for the concept design project, it's called leatherwingsjourney.com. Awesome. So if you guys want to check out more of that stuff, again, we'll have all the links in the description. Make sure to check out Lemin. He's an awesome guy. Thank you again so much for taking the time, brother. No problem, man.